Western rural Ghana is faced with numerous challenges. Many teachers refuse posting to the hinterlands because they cannot simply bear the prevailing harsh conditions. When they just come and see the nature of the school and the environment, they don't always want to come. It's not their fault. They also try. So we are from the village. That's why we managed to stay here. Lawanya, in the Wa East district of the Upper East region, is one of the hard-to-reach communities. In February, two teachers were posted from Sunyang to the area and have since been rendering services without salary. The current economic situation in the country has worsened their plight. For some of us, we are lucky our parents are alive. Me like this, my mother is alive and she's a tailor, so sometimes she gets some support for me. But I've been having conversation with most of my friends who are also passing through the same ordeal. And how they are getting to survive, I dare not speak about it on camera. In the absence of teaching and learning materials, teachers use money received as gifts from benevolent individuals to buy data for internet on their phones to conduct research. They say we should instruct. We can't instruct now. We are still using the book knowledge. We are still writing on the board. Because it's the materials that the children will handle. And you will sit down or you will stand somewhere and just uh, instruct them what to do and what to do for that lesson. Now, no materials. Now, when we want to teach, is we use our phones to find out information before we can teach. He said his colleagues in other schools have been diagnosed with stomach ulcer. One of my friends is seriously ill, suffering from a disease related to hunger. So that thing happening right now, I think if GS could speed up things and maybe use us as scapegoats to settle some of the mishaps that are happening, that it should stop. They are not the only teachers in the situation. At Mao, also in the Laura district, another teacher, Michael Chaba. He was posted from Sege in the Greater Accra region to the community the same time as Ameyao and his colleagues. Without any relative, Michael's survival in the community is hinged on the benevolence of farmers who give him some farm produce. Last week, even I thought that coming here was a huge mistake for me because my friend told me that we have to do the reposting. I said, no, let me come and change the environment. Accra is choked. I don't have no family over here working eight months. Nothing. Kobo, how will he survive? Hunger is killing him slowly. Just when he was about to quit his job to relocate to Accra, his head teacher intervened with some help, but the intervention will only support him for just a week. Very terrible. My everything has gone, finished. I wanted, uh, is the master who gave me money this, this, I can show you the money. It's true. This is the money he gave me. I, want, I told him that I want to move to Accra because I cannot die in this village here because I want to be a teacher. No, I can't, be, I can't work with this place. So he gave me this 400 cities that, oh, Mike, take this man. I want to help you. Be here and be helping the children for us. For these teachers, they are willing to stay in the hinterland to impact the lives of pupils. But the economic situation will just not allow them.